What's up everyone, I'm Alex Costa and I know you're probably thinking, what can Alex teach me about taking showers that I don't already know? Well, in this video, I wanna help you by making sure that you're being efficient and maximizing your time in the shower. And I also wanna give you some tips that I'm sure you guys have not heard of before that will make your showers a hundred times better. And no, it is not what you're thinking, all right? Hack number one, invest in a fogless mirror. You can get pretty steamy when you're taking a shower, which means your regular mirrors will fog up. So what you do is you get a fogless mirror that prevents that from happening. That way, you can do whatever it is that you wanna do in the shower while staring at yourself. It could be shaving, trimming, or things that I probably don't wanna know. Number two, use music to time your showers. I know some of you guys probably already listen to music while you're taking showers, and if you don't, you are 100% missing out. So what you do is you take that to the next level and use the songs that you're listening to to time how long you've been in the shower for. Of course, we know that not all songs are the same and there are really long songs and really short songs, but if you keep it between two to four songs, then you know that your showers are not running that long. Otherwise, not only are you wasting water, but you're also wasting time. Two of the most valuable things in the world. And real quick, before I go into the next hack, what are your shower songs? I would love to know. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you listen to when you're taking showers. Hack number three comes before you even turn on the water in the shower. And that's because you should shave or trim before you turn on that water. Shave and trim my beard and neck and random hairs on my shoulders, for example, two to three times a week. If I'm gonna do it outside the shower, it can get pretty messy. There's nothing more annoying than cleaning up black hairs from your bathroom sink and floor. So what you do is you jump in the shower and then you shave or trim whatever it is that you have to do before you ever turn on the water. And you can use that fogless mirror that we just discussed. That way your hair is gonna fall in a contained area and it's gonna be so much easier to clean. Now pro tip here guys, don't just start the water to wash that hair away. That's gonna clog everything up. Grab a paper towel and clean at least 90 to 95 percent of that hair and throw it in your toilet. Flush it, make sure it's not too bulky so it doesn't clog the toilet as well or that can get really messy and then you can start the water. And don't be lazy with this one guys. If you do this two to three times a week, you are 100 percent for sure gonna clog up your shower. All right, I know because I've been there. I've been there and it's not fun so don't do it. Number four, if you're traveling, always bring your own shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Sometimes these products in hotels are okay, but more often than not, if you're not staying in a five-star hotel, they suck because what they do is they skimp out on quality to save money. Today's video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club, gives you everything you need in the shower. And their $5 starter kit comes with a small tube of body wash, which is perfect for when you're traveling. The kit comes with a body cleanser, Three of these one wipe Charlies for down there so you can be fresh on the go. Shaving butter and one executive razor so you can shave before you start to shower. And all of that for only five bucks. And I don't even know how, but shipping is actually included in that price. Dollar Shave is amazing because they literally have everything you need to step up your grooming game, even outside of shaving. So they have body cleansers, toothpaste, everything that you need delivered to your doorstep so you don't have to leave your house to get any of it. Their body wash smells amazing and I can tell you, it's so much better than any hotel body wash. So you should definitely add it to your toiletry bag before you go on your next trip. The trial version of the body wash is a perfect size to travel with. But of course, they also have the full size bottle in both awakening and calming scents. So if you wanna try all of these products from Dollar Shave, all you have to do is go to dollarshaveclub.com slash alexcosta and you're gonna get your starter kit for five bucks shipped. If you can't remember that link, even though it's super easy and it's just my name, I'm gonna leave that linked in the description right below the video. Hack number five is probably one of my favorites in today's list because you will notice a difference right away. It's gonna make your hair feel amazing. What you do is you apply conditioner in the beginning of your shower and you leave it in until the end of your shower. So basically, you start by washing your hair and then applying conditioner and leave it on while you do everything else. Washing your face, cleaning your ears or back or whatever. Just let the conditioner do its magic while you're showering. The more time you give the conditioner to sink in, the better. When you're done with your shower, then you can wash off the conditioner and I'm telling you, your hair is gonna feel so much softer and way more manageable than before. Try this out today and let me know how your hair feels in the comments section below. And number six, this might sound a little weird and funny, but get a shower cap. And you don't have to leave it outside somewhere where everyone can see that you have a shower cap, but it's good to have one maybe hidden somewhere 
for those days where you don't plan on washing your hair. The truth is, we don't have to wash our hair every day, especially if you have medium to long hair because it's a process. After you're done washing your hair, you gotta blow dry it and it can take a little while. Put on a shower cap, take your shower, and guess what? When you leave your bathroom, your hairstyle is still gonna look amazing. And if you really wanna rock that second day hairstyle, invest in dry shampoo. Number seven, do not take extremely hot showers. Hot water can actually damage your hair, your scalp, your skin, so it's definitely something that you want to avoid. And I'm not saying that you should be taking cold showers every day because I know that I don't do that, but take it easy, you know? Maybe if you're washing your face and your hair, then bring the temperature down a little bit. I do try to take cold showers as often as possible, especially in the summertime, because to me, it's more refreshing, it wakes me up, plus I know that it's better and healthier for my skin, especially my face and my hair. So it's a win-win for me. All right, guys, now that you have amazing hair, don't forget to check out my other videos, and then, of course, subscribe below to become part of the YouTube family, all right? We are almost at 1.2 million subscribers, which is mind-boggling. Also, check out dollarshave.com slash alexcosta to get your $5 starter kit shipped to your home. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.